Hello everyone. My name is Kostas Papadopoulos. I'm an assistant professor in digital humanities and cultural studies at Maastricht University in the Netherlands. And today I will talk to you about a new project called Pure 3D that aims to build an infrastructure for the publication and preservation of 3D scholarship. And I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you, but I'm currently teaching online, but I hope to see some of you uh, later today and tomorrow. So there are a number of challenges unique to 3D scholarship. A multiplicity of disciplines is involved with 3D objects of some kind, and each brings its own research objectives, communities of practice and publishing expectations. This variety is further confounded by the array of technologies available for developing, disseminating and interacting with 3D content. 3D scholarship exists in a fragmented information space. The original models are available to the individual or the team who worked on them, a version of the models, often downgraded, exists electronically, and only if technology allows. The materials that inform decisions and the knowledge generated from them is written about in conventional publication formats or never become available beyond the research team. When interactive 3D artifacts are included in online publications, they function as illustrative figures without making visible the scholarship that has gone into their creation sources, decision-making, and methodologies remain invisible. As a result, the reproducibility of such models remains rather limited. Paradata, in other words, decisions, sources, and variables, stay with the team, which means that their validity cannot be checked, and the whole process of their creation, including both the decisions of the researchers, but also the technology itself, remains black-boxed and thus inaccessible to other audiences. So, without a concerted undertaking, 3D is at the most risk of disappearing from the scholarly record, along of course with other ephemeral born digital data such as social media. So, over the past three decades, there has been significant investment in the creation of 3D models for research purposes. However, if we continue treating 3D scholarship as screenshots, static, two-dimensional and often black and white outputs, there's no doubt that we will never move to a stage where 3D models will be valued equally with what academia has learned to recognize as valid research outputs. So Pure 3D proposes a conceptual and methodological framework for 3D scholarship, one that is based on the paradigm of digital scholarly editions. In other words, the critical representation of texts that require an editor to make them speak clearly. In 3D scholarly editions, we see a 3D model, either it being a digitized object or a virtual world, as the text. Therefore, the model of the 3D edition is annotative, utilizing the 3D model itself to embed contextual information, and therefore, it's different from digital monographs that they largely use narrative, using 3D models as illustrative. And you see here examples from uh, Stanford's digital monograph, as well as the Gabby project by Michigan University Press. So thinking of 3D scholarly editions as representational spaces that can be read and understood through and by their means of production and reception, re-elevates long-standing textual practices, such as annotation, apparatus, and commentary, as interlinked discourses, providing a palette for both textual and contextual study. Building on the conventions of text-based digital scholarly editions, Pure 3D will build a virtual research environment to support the developers and users of 3D scholarship by providing tools to integrate multiple source materials, uh, such as annotations, images, video, structured and unstructured data, and so forth, and also to document the creation process, providing users with direct access to the modeling and interpretative choices, therefore creating a multimodal resource that is impossible to replicate in print form. The infrastructure will address the challenge of long-term preservation and access by archiving 3D models, and that's why we'll collaborate with the Data Archiving Institute in the Netherlands, DANS, and also making associated data fair, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. Also, it will open new pathways for 3D publication, aligning with the Declaration and Research Assessment, the so-called DORA, which recognizes the need to improve the ways in which researchers and the outputs of scholarly research are evaluated. 
So we envision an infrastructure that will allow for rich annotation and deep explanation with options for displaying interactive 3D content, including anything from single 3D objects to virtual worlds. Pure 3D will operate as an encyclopedia of knowledge and as a research tool used by other uh, scholars interested in the historic content. Ultimately, we want Pure 3D to operate as a forum for scholarly argument and critical debate for scholars to test out and critique the intent and meaning of those who formed, used, acted within those historic objects or environments. And we'll also be working with several pilot projects in the Netherlands to test and develop the infrastructure. And of course, we'll be reaching out to the community to identify user needs and collect requirements that will also be used to inform the development of the infrastructure. It is still early days since the project has started, but we hope that you will soon hear from us with uh, developments and updates. And for those interested, we will also organize a session on 3D scholarly editions in the annual Computer Applications and Archaeology Conference, and you can submit your abstract by the 1st of March. Thank you very much.